Alright, for those of you wondering how my agar punches work. Alright, these are pretty much just garbage right here. This one never um, made anything, and this one obviously has some contamination in the corner there. So I'm just going to use these as quick little examples on how you use the agar punch. Okay, so if you're in a flow hood, you would obviously set it like this. I'm in a sab, I still set it like this. Pop, flip, take, and I usually hold it at an angle. And then you just, uh, see, okay, perfect example, you got one stuck which doesn't happen very often. And you just stab it. And place. And here, I'll lift it up so you can see it better. And yes, that's a piece of contamination in here too. and placed but that's if it gets stuck so to continue on to what we're doing here i just go through and pop 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 just as many as you want to pop There you go. Then you have all your new clean plates all stacked out. And you take one of these and add it to each plate. Boom. See? Just grab it like that. And stick your... Let me bring this in a little closer. Yes, like so. Oh, that's a shitty one. Eh. Eh. And... And sterile technique for me, like that. Let's tilt it, place it, and continue on your journey, like so, with all of those continuing to be plucked. Yeah, this is a super old one, so it's all dry and thin. Like super thin. Uh, pick them, pluck them, drop them. Yeah, that's a video on how to use an agar punch. And you guys got lucky, one got stuck. So you actually got to see how to get a stuck one out. Which, like I said, doesn't happen very often.